Well, good morning, world. What the heck of sunrise going on out here? Propane and make a coffee. Should have it, have my coffee around noon today, I'd say. We had a whale come up alongside us. He started jumping out of the water. I felt like he was making eye contact. He seemed to be signaling me. He wanted to get in front. Apparently he had the right of way. As soon as I slowed down, he stopped jumping and just swam right across the bow. These tanks are getting rusty, so hope they fill them. Just anchored here in San Jose del Cabo. We go to the fuel dock, they charge us a dollar a foot, $35 to pull up to the dock to get $5 for the propane. We're still spin this one. Um, uh, my dinghy's only eight feet, so it'll save quite a bit of buck, quite a few bucks. <laughs> I'm gonna rip in, oh, honey, the propane, come back, make coffee. That's all you need? That's all I need. Okay, bye. Bye. So we've just returned. Why don't you say how fun that was? Well, I went to go get the propane at 11 a.m. It's now 5.30 p.m. Um, I do have propane though, but there was a bit of a bit of a frig around to say the least. Um, I was trying to find the marina I would called yesterday. They told me there's propane at the gas station at the marina. I got there, they don't have propane. They couldn't tell me where to get any. So then I walked around, I found some some guys and I asked them, they told me it was out by the airport. And the one guy was so nice to say, his friend will give me a ride if I just pay the gas money. And he'll be here in five minutes. So about two hours went by, he never showed up. And then he said his other friend, who's an Uber driver, would come and get me. Another hour went by, he didn't show up. <laughs> So then, I was like, well, I can just take an Uber myself. I have the technology to call an Uber. And he was pretty surprised by that. So then, I couldn't find an address to go to get the propane. Because you need an address to tell the Uber driver where you're gonna go. So that didn't pan out for me. So then I asked, I went to a different restaurant and I asked them if they knew the address. And the guy that owned the restaurant said he was leaving in five minutes and going that way and he'd give me a ride for the same price as the Uber. So another 45 minutes go by and he's finally ready to go. And then we had to go downtown and go to the bank and go to his girlfriend's house and go somewhere else. And then we finally went out to the airport to get propane, which costs 240 pesos, a little less than 15 bucks, but I had to pay 500 pesos to get <laughs> to get the to get propane. toured around the town. So I paid twice as much for the Uber drive, driver as I did the actual propane. But now, <laughs> you want to have that coffee? Oh my god! Just before bed. Uh, 
following day, we motored up to Los Frailes. We got into the anchorage, dropped the hook. I'd asked Jess to put it in reverse to set the hook. It sounded like she was still in neutral, so I told her to put it in forward. Still sound like neutral. Went down below, sure enough. The prop shaft and the transmission became disconnected. Well, we are dead in the water. I don't have the proper tool. So this is the part that connects my transmission to my drive shaft that spins the prop. But I need a socket to fit over this inside of there so a wrench can't do it. It has to be a socket. The largest one I have is one inch, and I believe that's an inch and a half. So I'm gonna have to go start asking people to borrow tools. Nobody likes lending out tools, but over here on the beach, there is a, an arroyo, it's a dried out river. There's plenty of expats camping in there. I imagine they have tools. If not, we're 100 miles upwind so we have to motor more or less to La Paz or 100 miles back downwind which would sail to Cabo San Lucas. You can see here inside this essential part the gears are stripped about halfway through but it looks like I should be able to get her back together. All successful mission so far got the socket that I needed well, the camper passed everyone up there. There was one fella who's gone to town. He had just gotten back and he was the only one to have one. But this unit, threads are just stripped right in there. So I'm hoping, hoping I can get it on there, get it to bite, and lock tight it down, try and seal it up a bit so she ain't leaking so bad. To get this transmission rebuilt, maybe order a kit once I get to. She's gonna head up the coast to La Paz. Yeah, send, send off in the mail and get one. Whoa, those manatees are jumping high. Let's see if we can get them on camera. There's a couple just right here jumping. So graceful. Well, the campers up on the beach there just radioed me to let me know that the organic produce guy was in town. I got these Japanese sweet peppers baby carrots, multiple colors. This bag of tomatoes, I already ate one of those. They're delicious. Watermelon radish, it's supposed to be not as spicy as normal radish. I think it's watermelon because of the color inside. A bag of arugula. Arugula. And for tonight's performance, we have a flying manta ray. Fly, you little bugger! <laughs> fly, manta ray, fly! Oh, there. Just leaving Los Frelis. Wind's supposed to be blowing about 15 knots, right from where we're trying to go. So we're just tacking out, we're gonna do a few tacks for the next few hours. It's supposed to die off around 5, it's like 1.30, 2 o'clock now. The plan is to try and catch a fish before we have to turn on the engine. It's going to be 24 hours to get to La Paz. We're going to have to motor it mostly the whole way. There's no wind after 5 o'clock tonight. So. 
Let's hope we catch a fish in the next hour or two and then we can just motor directly to our destination. In the morning, we had a beautiful sunrise, and it was a first for us. It was on the starboard side, because we were headed north, up into the Sea of Cortez. Well, we motored all night. We are officially in the Sea of Cortez. World's Aquarium. What do we got today? I don't know, but I put my gloves on this time. Last one almost, almost got away. Did you already lose it? It's still very big. It's a teeny tiny fish. It's a baby. Oh, Spanish mackerel. A baby Spanish mackerel. These are delicious. Oh, cool. It's polka dotted. We didn't know where we were going, but we decided along the way that La Paz was our destination. It was the only plan we actually had, and we're here now. Now... We don't know. Now we don't have a plan. This was the only plan. <laughs> I didn't think we were going to get into America. And I definitely didn't think we were going to get into Mexico. I didn't think the engine was going to make it. And, yeah, now what? I didn't think the sails were going to make it. I didn't think the, map, the rig was going to make it. Now we're here. Hmm. Well, let's go get tacos. Yeah, I'm hungry. <laughs> okay. We ended up staying in La Paz for about a month. But the weather was still just too cold. So join us next week. We'll take a three day trip over to the mainland. Towards Banderas Bay, Puerto Vallarta, La Cruz, Punta Mita.